Hello everybody and welcome. This is History Dude and today we will be continuing our History of Battle series with the second battle of Megiddo which occurred in 605 BCE. Now in 605 BCE the Egyptian pharaoh Necho II, this fine gentleman right here, advanced through Palestine to aid the Assyrian forces still resisting the Babylonian leader Nabopolassar in western Assyria, as you might recall from our previous video of the fall of Nineveh. Now King Josiah of Judah, this fine fellow right here, who sided with the Babylonians, led out an army to harass Necho on his way north. According to the Bible, Necho urged Josiah to let him pass, pointing out that he had no quarrel with Judah. Josiah, however, quote, did not turn away from him, but went to the valley of Megiddo to fight, end quote. No details of the battle are known, although there were presumably many chariots on both sides. An Egyptian victory was secured when Josiah died, falling to an arrow. Yet the triumph brought Necho no lasting advantage. He advanced into Syria, joining up with the remnants of the once great Assyrian army, but was then attacked by forces led by Nabopolassar's son, Nebuchadnezzar, at Carchemish on the western bank of the Euphrates River. And here is a depiction of that encounter. The Egyptians and Assyrians got the worst of a hard-fought battle, and Necho fled back to Egypt, his prestige ruined. The prophet Jeremiah commented sardonically, quote, Pharaoh king of Egypt is but a noise, end quote. The Assyrian cause was lost. And this occurred, um, the Battle of Megiddo occurred near Haifa in northern Israel. Now, the Egyptian forces um, presumably far outnumbered the forces of Judah, as uh, this was a battle between Egypt versus Israel. And here you can see an Electrum Egyptian war chariot. And here again is another depiction of Egyptian war chariots. Now, the Egyptian war chariot was a lightweight vehicle designed for maximum speed and maneuverability. Its main function was as a mobile missile platform from which a warrior who trained by using a rocking stool shot arrows or threw javelins. It could also be used for shock effect in a high speed charge to move equipment around the battlefield or to rescue the wounded. It had a crew of two men. It dated from 1550 to 1300 BCE. It had two horses and was used for war, hunting, and carriage and it had speeds up to 40 kilometers per hour. Now as you can see it had lightweight wide set wheels with rims of wood and leather. It had uh, bent wood construction with interwoven leather straps and here you can see the axle and the pole and that is how the Egyptian war chariot was designed. And the most, the most important thing to take away from the second battle of Megiddo was that Necho II, the pharaoh of Egypt, got wrecked. And he fled back to Egypt, his prestige ruined. And that is about it for this battle. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have any comments or suggestions to help me improve these videos, let me know and I will not hesitate to include them. And as always, remember to have an awesome day.